Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's vlog. Today is July, Monday, July 27th, 2020, and I am on my way to work. So um, yesterday was a pretty busy day for the most part. Um, we are really looking to downsize our house because we're going to be doing a lot of remodeling in the next couple of weeks. So um, some of the things that we did include, oh, okay, include, we had this big ass wooden um, uh, entertainment center in our house and it literally like just dwarfed our living room. So we took, we finally like got it out and took it apart and whatnot. And the good thing is, is that now my living room is freaking huge. So that was like a huge thing. And I'm really excited about that. Um, but this week, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing is just setting aside things that I know that like I'm going, I got to fix my seat. It, my husband drove my car yesterday. So there we go. Um, getting rid of things that like we know we aren't going to use anymore and um, getting it ready for donation. I actually have to call a couple of places this week because Goodwill here in Des Moines stopped or suspended um, donations. So I have to call Salvation Army and this other little place that I go all the time with my mom called Encore. It's a Christian thrift, thrift store. And I gotta see who's accepting donations so that way we can get everything rounded up and taken there. Um, so I do have that on my to-do list um, this week. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, like as for my weekend, my weekend was good. Like Saturday I made cards and I was able to listen to Educated by Tara Westover. Oh my God. Like I think I'm like four hours into the book right now. It's really good. It is really good. It's about this girl who um, was born into the Mormon faith. But the thing is, is like her parents are kind of like separatist, I think is the right word. It probably isn't. But anyway, so just some of the shit her dad does. It's like he's just so wanting to like defy everyone that he puts his family in legit danger a lot and almost gets him killed a couple of times. So... It's a really, really good book. I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm also reading His To Take by Shayla Black, and that is like the eighth book in the Wicked Lover series that I've been reading since March. Um, this book is good. I've kind of already talked about kind of like my feeling about like the whole series already, so I'm not gonna bring that up back up again. But what I will say about this book is I'm really liking the mystery and how the mystery connected to the previous book. So that part I do really, really like. Um, and then I am still reading The Substitute by Denise um, Grover Swank. Excuse me. Oh my God, where did this come from? Um, so with that book though, um, it's an ebook, and my my Kindle died over the weekend, so I actually had to bring it with me so I can charge it, cause my charger is on my desk. So way to go, Em. So yeah, so um, my reading goal for this week is to finish all three of those books um, this week. So that'll be my first trifecta, is what I'm calling it. Is when I finish an ebook, an audio, and a physical book um, in one week. So yeah that's kind of like what I'm coining that is I finished the trifecta so I'm actually really excited about that aside from that though um work should be pretty good as far as I know I don't have any visits this week um I have a webinar today about cultural bias in the workplace that should be interesting <laughs> and I'm not saying that other than like I'm very interested to take this course but it'll be interesting to see like how my coworkers kind of take this um and we're supposed to have a social justice meeting about it tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, so what else did I do yesterday, this weekend? Oh, I, okay, so, and I'm gonna, I, I had to edit two weeks worth of vlogs yesterday because last week I did not take 30 minutes and, um, and just, um, edit my vlog from the week prior but I didn't want to lose all that footage because like I had some really awesome footage of like me and my friends at the lake and 
like the Joann's haul that I went on and all that other stuff. So I was like, no, fuck that. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I posted two vlogs. The good thing is about my vlogs, they're both down to um, around 30 minutes. So one was 38 minutes and the other one was 35. So I was really happy about that. So if I could do that every day or every week, that'd be great. But if not, it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, so I will be posting to my social medias today about my vlogs. Um, and about how I'm, a la I'm lazy and I just posted the one from the week prior. Um, another thing that I did notice, so for the last two weeks, I have been saying, oh, I'm gonna do a, v a vlog of my of Megadesk. Still haven't done it yet. So I think it's just like, I gotta work up the courage to like tell my, my coworkers like, hey, I have a vlog, I'm going to be recording my desk. So yeah, but I am kind of like embarrassed about that, but whatever, we'll, we'll work it out, so. But other than that, that's kind of like what I did this weekend. I also got to see my parents this weekend. Um, I read, I made some cards, that's about it. So nothing really too interesting for me this weekend. So I'm actually hitting the highway right now to drive down to work. Should be there in about 10 minutes. Um, and it's 8.10, so I should at least be to work by 8.25 today, which is not too bad. Um, so anyway, but I do hope that everybody had a great weekend. Um, I will definitely be doing uh, some updates. Um, it looks like it's gonna rain, so I probably won't be able to take you guys around campus, but I will try to get Mega Desk recorded for today, so I will be working on that. Otherwise, I um, hope everybody's having a great start to their week, and I will catch you guys on my next update. Bye. Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. So, um, as promised, and like I said, like my last two weeks, I'm finally gonna show you guys Megadesk. So, I'll show you guys like the room that I work in, but Megadesk was actually really interesting because my desk used to actually like be out in the open because that's where like new people sit. And as soon as they put this new desk area in, I, I went in and then, of course, I had to make it my own. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys Megadesk, I'm really excited. And if you don't know the Megadesk reference, Megadesk reference, it's from The Office, and I'll talk about that later. Okay, okay so when you walk, so basically you walk into the room here. So this is like all of the other like desk spaces. So I'll show you guys, this is where like the other like secluded little area is. So this is Mark, one of my coworkers. Wave Mark, say hi. Hello. So, and then you walk in, we have like a really big table that we used to eat at pre-COVID-19. We don't do that anymore. Um, and then we have an open desk space here for all of our Storm Squad stuff, nice big window. And then we come over to Laura's desk. Say hi, Laura. All right, and I bought her that because she's a UNI Panther, so yeah. <laughs> all right, so then you walk over here and there's another desk where Maddie sits, but Maddie's not here, so a big, you know, another secluded, like, nice little area. And then you have this space. So this is where the new guy Lainey sits, and this is where my desk was, and I hated it. Um, and then on the other side of the partition, that's where this table was. But we moved the table, and we actually put another desk over here. So, we walk over here. You'll see, of course, I have jazzed up my area a little bit with a calendar, and then we walk in, and there's my desk. So, as you can see here, we'll start over on this side. I have my bookshelf, that is courtesy of Simpson College. Went ahead and put some really fun stuff up, including my, yes, my degree, because what better place to have this than on the bookshelf at your alma mater where you actually are now employed. So that was fun. Class of 2008. Um, let's see what else do I have up here. My mom found my um, high school mug from when I graduated. I haven't seen this thing actually in 15 years. So when she gave it to me, I was like, oh cool, very good. Um, I also have my awards from when I went to, when I worked at Allstate. So I have my Helping Hands Award and also my Distinguished Performance Award. That was when I got that free trip to Disney World. So that was fun. Also some stuff here and then on the second shelf, you'll see here that I have my pop figures of the Golden Girls. Um, yeah, this was like one of those impulse buys that I had a few years ago. I spent like 60 bucks on these and I'm not, I'm not sorry. And then my best friend gave me an autographed photo of the girls. So, um, so yeah, I have that here and then some other stuff, including all of my yearbooks from college and from high school. 
And then you look over here, so this is the territory that I represent. So um, in college admissions, usually everyone's given a territory or like a college or department or whatever. So I have Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, um, East Central Iowa, which is like Lynn and Johnson County, so Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. And then I also have Illinois. I also do have Eastern Missouri, but I haven't done the map yet for that. And then we come over here and you'll see I have all my adorable family photos of my doggies, the fam, all of our Christmas photos. And then you'll see here, I have my beautiful desk set up. That is very nice. And yes, just so you guys know, we are all required to wear masks except for when we're at our desk. So there's that. I have thank you cards that I've gotten from students, um, as well as my Packers and my Bucks banners. And then this is the mega desk part. So this table was actually Maddie's when she sat in another area. And then she moved to her other kind of like secluded area. And I took this because I was like, I need maximum space for maximum productivity, right? Again, the office reference. Um, so yeah, so I call it mega desk. And when I have to do like a lot of mailings and things like that, then I'll actually just swivel my chair from here to here and get a lot of work done. Plus I usually eat lunch over here too now since we can't all eat together. So that's what I have. So yeah, so that is mega desk. Okay, so speaking of uh, maximum productivity, I should actually probably get back to work. Not gonna lie, it's a little weird to be uh, filming part of my vlog and my coworkers are here because they probably just think I'm crazy. But I did let them know that I was going to um, be recording this, so it's now here. So now you guys actually see what Megadeth looks like. So maybe when it's actually sunny out, I'll take you guys on campus to see, so you can see what Simpson looks like in my old stomping grounds where I used to live, all those other things. But until then, I will catch you guys on my next update. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Tuesday, July 28th. Um, and uh, hold on, there's a little boy walking a dog so I can't exactly pull off yet. Anyway, today is Tuesday, July 28th. I might be able to because I don't see him anymore. He must have went back down the street. Did he? Yep, he went back down the street, okay. Um, and I am on my way to work. It is 8.05, so I should be to work about 8.20 this morning. Oh, girl, okay. So, how did my night go? My night went pretty good. Um, me and my mom, well, my mom came over and, oh, so gross. Ugh. So to make a long story short, the trash actually arrived on time. Usually they're, I don't know, like a day late, um, but today's trash day. But anyway, I digress. So me and my mom came over yesterday because she bought me and my husband a table, a little side table and two chairs, which I'm really excited about. They're super cute. They're gonna be like really good reading chairs too, I think for me, so that'll be really nice. But then we went over to Slumberland last night <clears throat> after I got changed and everything, and me and my mom did, and we bought a new recliner for my husband. Now, it is not like the big fluffy one. As you can see, it's a really nice brown one um, that I went ahead and I put in the cards. I'm probably not even pointing to the right way, but um, it's actually a really, really nice chair. It sits nice. It's not a rocker, but whatever. Like the last chair my husband had wasn't a rocker, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a really, really nice, good quality chair. And we got this chair for only $200. So there you go, really, really nice. Um, so anyway, so it was actually pretty cool. Me and, mom, me and my mom went and did that. Made spaghetti last night, and then by seven o'clock, I had everything done. And because I'm not bringing my planner home every day with me, um, cause my planner, I'm really trying to have it so that it stays at work. Um, you know, I may actually start bringing my wellness planner home. I don't really know yet. But because of that, um, I read from seven to midnight. I know, right? So I read from 7 to midnight last night. I finished the ninth book in the Wicked Lover series by Shayla Black, um, His to Take. And it was really good. Like, don't get me wrong. It was it was a good book. The mystery was really, really good. Like, there was a whole nother fucking, like, element to it that I wasn't even ready for. Um, so it, and it very much had like a Waco vibe kind of, but, um, more extreme. Um, so yeah, so like it was, it was good. Don't get me wrong, but like, girl, them last five pages though, I was like, okay, girl, 
let's go. Okay, yep, I love you. Can you ever forgive me? Yada, yada, I'm sorry, I loved you. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, thankfully, the book did not end in a pregnancy, which I would have been really pissed off because um, the girl in the book, Bailey, is a ballerina. And she's a badass ballerina, too. So, I was just like, oh, my God, please do not make this girl pregnant because, like... I really want her to be a ballerina and have like a really, really successful ballerina career or dance career. And, you know, 10 years down the line, then they can start having babies, but just not right now. Like I'm not, I'm not right. I don't want that for her. Right. So anyway, so it was, it was a good book though. Like I gave it three stars on my Goodreads. Um, I'll probably, I actually will bring my, my, what do you call it home today? So I can write about it real quick tonight. Um, in my reading planner because that's the first book that I finished. I have two books that I need to finish, um, one audio and one ebook. Um, and then I started the seventh book in the Steel Brothers saga, Shattered. So I started that last night. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> so, because the last book ended on a cliffhanger, this book, um, it started up with the cliffhanger, but they're not getting to that part yet. So the love interests have actually just met. So I'm really excited to read, to read through that. So yeah, so that was my night last night. Um, it was me, Shattered, Hagen Dawes, my homie George was right there next to me. And yeah, I read till midnight. I didn't even watch no YouTube last night. I literally was like, okay, cool, time to go to bed. So I turned over, went to bed, got up this morning, was watching some dog videos like I always do on Facebook via the Dodo. Um, so yeah, and then was able to get everything rounded up and head to work. So that's where I am right now. Um, as for today, I just have a, I have meetings. Like, I've got a meeting at 9. I've got a meeting at 10. I have another meeting at 1.30. And then I also have a visit at 2.30 today. So, a lot going on definitely today in the grand scheme of things. But, um, again, I'm... Um, really looking forward to today should be should be a really really good day um pretty pretty chill and relaxed for the most part just aside from all of those meetings so yeah but that's all that I really have for right now I'm gonna as I do turn on some tunes drive to work and um yeah do all of that great stuff so I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday I may be able to do an update um, sometime today. Maybe I'll take a walk and kind of show you guys around campus a little bit. Um, but other than that, that's all I have. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, and welcome back to the vlog. Yes, I'm all shiny. So I'm not really sure why. Probably because I need to go take a shower. And I went and took a walk today and what else? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys what I worked on. So this evening, I, dedica I dedicated <laughs> to making cards this evening. So I made some really nice cards. I went and got a pack of paper. I meant to take a picture of it before, but maybe I can find it online and kind of put it up over this area, one of them. Um, but I bought a pack of paper, um, and I decided to make some cards. Um, I got it from Hobby Lobby um, because um, it was on sale. And I ended up making, let's see. Oh, I still have one more to make. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. I made 24 cards um, with one pack of paper that came with, um, I believe, let's see, four, five, so 10 sheets of paper. And plus they had these really awesome, really, really pretty cute girl die cuts and all that other stuff and stickers. And I used everything. I still have a few things left over that I could make a couple of more cards with. Um, we'll see if I do. I don't, I don't know yet, but I want to show you guys what I made. So here we go.
Okay, so those are the cards that I put together tonight. I am done for the night. I mean, I do have like one, two more cards that I can make that are the A7. So I might go ahead and crank those out because I literally just have to cut down this really awesome gold May paper that came with the pack um, and then do it that way. And then I still do have some more paper scraps to make some small thank you and hello cards with just this. Um, and then I'll do, I'll do a punch of glitter and then a white circle more than likely so that that's another style that I really like to do so yeah so was really excited to do these but these again will be for sale at the craft fair that I'm going to be doing at the end of August I'm still unsure about the price on these I don't know if I'm going to sell these as a set or individually or what um, but I'm definitely going to do something so that's all that I have for right now um, I'm going to make these last two cards and then go take a shower and turn in for the night and probably kill the rest of my hog and dogs before I go to bed. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody had a good Tuesday and I will see you guys tomorrow morning on my next update. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is um, Wednesday, July 29th, 2020. Um, we are two days, three days away from August 1st. The last and hottest month of the summer and I am currently on my way to work um, yeah so what did I do last night I showed you guys a little bit um, well a little bit I showed you a lot of it actually I made cards last night so as we've already talked about and discussed um, I will be um, doing my very first uh, craft fair at the end of August and um, so last night, what I did was I, well, cause, okay. So Hobby Lobby had cards, had their 50 pack cards on sale for 50% off through the, cause they're from the paper studio. So yesterday I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and I picked up two 50 packs. So I picked up a hundred cards for $10. I was really happy about that. Um, and then also they had a really cute, um, paper pack of like these girls and they were, they were like the cutout dolls and everything and I was like oh my gosh these are so freaking cute right so I went ahead and I picked that up and that was $9.99 but I got it for I got it also on sale <clears throat> um so I made 26 cards last night from this paper pack which I'm really really excited about I still have some paper left so I'll be able to make a couple of hello and thank you cards too and it also came with gold script letters. So what does that mean? That means, ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing monograms, but with stickers. So I've been going back and forth and back and forth about how I wanted to do my monograms. Um, and I am really thinking that I'm just gonna use stickers for them for right now, mainly because I don't have a good enough ink that is a quick dry ink and doesn't smudge. So while I hunt for that, I just think that it's going to be a lot faster and easier for me to just do my monograms and stickers. So I'm really excited about that. And they're gold and they're going to go really great with the classic paper that I have on white card background. So I'm really, really excited about that. But yeah, um, all the cards that I did last night were beautiful. Um, I was able to, like I said, get 26 of them done. I did them in A1, A2, and A7 size. Um, so was really excited about that and they look great so um, so yeah so that's that that's what I primarily did last night I had some leftover spaghetti for dinner <laughs> and um, I ended up going to bed probably like around 11 45 midnight I did my cards basically oh I mean I forgot one part of my lunch Damn it. anyway um, I basically did my cards though from um, about 5.30 until about nine, and then I read for two hours, two and a half hours. Plus I was on social media a little bit last night. And then I went to bed. <laughs> and like, I feel like I slept harder last night than I usually do, and I think it's just because my body was just, was just really tired, so. So we have that. But anyway, as for today, um, I pretty much have the whole day to kind of like do what I need to do um no meet not too many meetings today I have a couple um but that's like in the afternoon so that's really nothing to concern myself with too much um but other than that I'm just gonna go ahead and drive to work 
put some tunes on. Oh, um, I also finished like two more hours of Educated by Tara Westover last night um, via audiobook. So <clears throat> um, I did not feel like I wanted to throw my phone as badly as I did. But still, like, oh my god, that book is, is really, really good. So, got about two hours and 45 minutes of the book left, so I'm really going to try and crank that out today and finish it. Uh, because it's due tomorrow at the library. Uh, I can't stop yawning. <laughs> but yeah, so the book is actually due to, back tomorrow um, with the library, and I can't, like, extend my reservation. Okay, so I have someone that's literally just walking down the middle of the street. That's awesome. Oh, and there's a car coming. Very nice. Okay, and we're good. All right. Oh, and then the person that was in the other lane didn't even want to slow down. So that's awesome. Love it. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so I did finish that. Like I said, I got two hours and 45 minutes left. I'm going to try and crank it out today. Aside from that, I'm going to... This is where I leave you. So I am going to uh, go ahead and uh, turn on some music get pumped up for the day and I will see you guys on my next update. Bye. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday, July 30th at 7.45 and I'm actually going to be on time today because my meeting got moved up. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm actually headed to work right now. I had a good night of sleep. Um, went to bed probably like 11.45 last night. George slept in my bed last night, so that was wonderful. He's such a good, he's such a cool buddy, I love him. Um, read some of my book last night, which I'm pretty sure if I just sit in my big chair tonight, I'll finish it. But another really big thing about um, that happened last night is I finished my 10th book of the month. Um, I have not had a 10 book finish for a month since uh, I think like last October where I read 11 or 12 books or something like that. I'll have to go back and, and be certain um, and check. But the book that I finished last night was Educated by Tara Westover. It was her memoir about growing up in the Mor Mormon faith in rural Idaho with, erratic, with an erratic family and a very violent family brother um this book was incredible like it was definitely gonna be my it's it's my five star read for the month um just a really great book um gosh like uh, just even towards the end it was so interesting because you know I'm listening to like the last 45 minutes of the book and she's still grasping on to this idea that her family is going to give her what she needs which in essence is unconditional love and they never do but yet it's so crazy because her family also deems themselves as righteous but yet they completely put blinders on to wrong and to sin which i thought was incredibly interesting so um so yeah it was just overall it was a fantastic book i ended up watching an interview that she had done and just to even kind of hear it come from her about just kind of everything that happened and took place in her life um, was incredible. So um, I really, really enjoyed the book. I'm really happy I read it. Um, and I also completed E in my, um, in my uh, alphabet challenge for the year. So I have J, K, X, Y, and Z to finish. So I will be um, essentially pulling from my jar on those books because I do have a couple that I, that I want to read. Um, and then more than likely though, for my alphabet books for the rest of the year, I will go ahead and um, do audiobooks since I can get them for, for free from the library. But yes, Educated by Terry Westover was, was fantastic. So, um, and how did I finish that? I colored. <laughs> so that's how I ended up finishing because I didn't really feel like making cards last night um, and I just wanted to do something else. So I actually colored and I haven't colored in a while. So that was actually pretty fun. And it was actually worth it too because like, I was a little frustrated yesterday at work. So it actually worked out really, really well. Um, but as for today, what do I have on my docket? So, oh my gosh. 
So basically today, um, as for myself, I do not have any visits. I just have meetings today, which is- Oh, and then, okay, so one of my coworkers was promoted. So um, she was promoted from counselor to um, assistant director of admissions. So we are gonna go get ice cream with her today. So that is gonna be really, really fun. Um, yeah, really excited for that, for her. Um, that'll definitely be really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, like just work and just get that stuff done. So should be, should be good times. Should be good times. Anyway, that is actually all that I have for right now. So I'm actually just gonna think about how, as usual, I did not get something done when I should have. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and just kind of go from there. Um, oh, God, don't you hate it? Like, when you know you have to do something, and when you realize you don't do it, but you can't, like, fix it? Because, oh, God, because I, I can't be late today. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, okay, cool. So, I'm, I'm mumbling right now. I, what I'm gonna do though is I'm actually going to stop this recording because it got weird anyway. <laughs> um, turn on some music and get to work. I've got about a 15 minute drive. So aside from that, I hope everybody is doing well and having a good Thursday, um, AKA Friday's Eve. And I will see you guys on my next update. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back. So um, I'm home right now. I just got home. Um, one of my coworkers got promoted, so we went out for ice cream. And I came home and my husband has been um, out with my mom all day getting stuff for our house because like I said we are remodeling our house so I walk in and <laughs> let me show y'all what I see hold on okay so I walk in the door and this is what we have now so we have a fireplace that we will be putting in our house I'm guessing it's gonna go right along this large wall here and two large cabinets so Basically, this cabinet here and then this cabinet here, they are being removed. Um, and so are all of the cabinets basically in the house. So these old looking 80s style cabinets are gone. And so is this one here. So that cabinet, those giant cabinets you guys see all the way over there are going to be home to my microwave and um, also pots and pans and that kind of storage. So that is what my mom and my husband purchased today. Um, and then also they did get some paint. I am not sure what color this is, but they got plenty of paint and rollers and all of that good stuff. So I am not exactly sure when we're gonna be painting but something tells me really soon. My husband is off for the next two weeks to work on this project. And I mean, I still have to work. Like I can't take off work, unfortunately, cause like we're having all these kids coming back here in a couple of weeks. So I definitely like have to be here um, or be at work. But um, basically my husband and my mom and my dad are pretty much gonna be remodeling my house and also my father-in-law. So yeah, that should be good. What do you think, George? What do you think of all the stuff? Hmm? Yeah, I'm pretty sure George was freaked out because everything was brought in here. Look at that face. <gasps> Look at George. All right. So yeah, so that was what I walked in on was all this stuff. So very nice. Um, yeah, all right. And I do think that they spent no more than like a grand today, which is another big deal. But my husband is currently not home and he's still with my mother. So who knows? <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you right now. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Please excuse my hair as well as the crazy light in my, in my room right now. Um, so it is late. It's like eight o'clock um, in the evening. Um, 
I fully intended on um, updating you guys and closing out the vlog earlier today, but instead, um, I actually, um, so me and my husband are remodeling our house. Um, so we've been in this house since September of 2018. So this year it'll be two years and we have been wanting to rip out carpet and take some cabinets out and put down new flooring and paint and all this other stuff. And we finally have the time to do it now because my husband is actually in the final week of school. So he will be graduating from college um, from the University of Phoenix with his bachelor's in accounting and I'm really, really proud of him. And um, he thought that this was, this was a great time to go ahead and start our remodel. So we have been working on that. And so today was um, getting stuff in a donation pile and taking it over to St. Vincent de Paul, um, as well as just getting things cleaned up and um, going through our pantries, figuring out um, what to keep and what to throw away, give away, et cetera. Um, so I, we just got done basically for the day um, and we did make some changes to the house. So for example, you guys can see, I now have a TV in my room on my desk, um, which is very, very weird um, just because I have not had a TV in my room since I, yeah, I just, I don't like, I didn't really like having a TV in my room because I always thought, oh my God, I'm just gonna like, sit up until all the wee hours of the morning and watch TV instead of reading and I have a host of books to read which is right over there on my night on my nightstand slash drawer there so so that's what I have um, going on but yeah we did a lot of stuff today really proud of us tomorrow we have a few more things to pack up and, and store away and then we are ripping out cabinets tomorrow so our this house is gonna look so crazy so I'll probably will start next week's vlog tomorrow so I can kind of show you guys the before and after um, and yeah it should be pretty good so um, aside from that though I do hope that everybody is having a good weekend uh, so far um, today is National Planner Day so um, you know I uh, do hope that all the planner um, girls and guys out there definitely had a good time and spend some quality time with your planners today which I will be doing here shortly myself so anyway that is all that I have I do hope that you guys enjoy this week's vlog um, as for videos and things like that vlogging is probably gonna be the only thing I'm gonna be able to do over the next couple of weeks unless I do like a car diary or something like that where I talk about books while I'm sitting in my car because as you guys can see <laughs> there is a TV on my filming station so I don't think I'm gonna be able to film um, any videos or anything like that unless I get my tripod out and go into the kitchen and I just I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it so but I still will be able to do vlogs so that will that is promised Anyway, like I said, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day um, and week and have a fantastic week. And I will see you guys when I open up the vlog tomorrow. So have a great night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.